Ultra high frequency UHF is the ITU designation for radio frequencies in the range between 300 MHz megahertz and 3 GHz GHZ, also known as the decimeter band as the wavelengths range from 1 m to 1 tenth of a meter, 1 decimeter. Radio waves with frequencies above the UHF band fall into the super high frequency SHF or microwave frequency range. Lower frequency signals fall into the VHF very high frequency or lower bands. UHF radio waves propagate mainly by line of sight, they are blocked by hills and large buildings although the transmission through building walls is strong enough for indoor reception. They are used for television broadcasting, cell phones, satellite communication including GPS, personal radio services including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, walkie-talkies, cordless phones, and numerous other applications. The IEEE defines the UHF radar band as frequencies between 300 MHz and 1 GHz. Two other IEEE radar bands overlap the ITU UHF band, the L band between 1 and 2 GHz and the S band between 2 and 4 GHz. <laughs> Topic. Propagation characteristics Radio waves in the UHF band travel almost entirely by line of sight propagation loss and ground reflection unlike in the HF band there is little to no reflection from the ionosphere sky wave propagation or ground wave UHF radio waves are blocked by hills and cannot travel beyond the horizon but can penetrate foliage and buildings for indoor reception since the wavelengths of UHF waves are comparable to the size of buildings, trees, vehicles and other common objects, reflection and diffraction from these objects can cause fading due to multipath propagation, especially in built-up urban areas. Atmospheric moisture reduces, or attenuates, the strength of UHF signals over long distances, and the attenuation increases with frequency. UHF TV signals are generally more degraded by moisture than lower bands, such as VHF TV signals. Since UHF transmission is limited by the visual horizon to 30 to 40 miles 48 to 64 kilometers and usually to shorter distances by local terrain, it allows the same frequency channels to be reused by other users in neighboring geographic areas frequency reuse. Radio repeaters are used to retransmit UHF signals when a distance greater than the line of sight is required. Occasionally when conditions are right, UHF radio waves can travel long distances by tropospheric ducting as the atmosphere warms and cools throughout the day. Antennas The length of an antenna is related to the length of the radio waves used. Due to the short wavelengths, UHF antennas are conveniently stubby and short, at UHF frequencies a quarter-wave monopole. The most common omnidirectional antenna is between 2.5 and 25 cm long. UHF wavelengths are short enough that efficient transmitting antennas are small enough to mount on handheld and mobile devices, so these frequencies are used for two-way land mobile radio systems, such as walkie-talkies, two-way radios in vehicles, and for portable wireless devices, cordless phones and cell phones. Omnidirectional UHF antennas used on mobile devices are usually short whips, sleeve dipoles, rubber ducky antennas or the planar inverted F antenna PIFA used in cell phones. Higher gain omnidirectional UHF antennas can be made of collinear arrays of dipoles and are used for mobile base stations and cellular base station antennas. The short wavelengths also allow high gain antennas to be conveniently small. High gain antennas for point to point communication links and UHF television reception are usually Yagi, log periodic, corner reflectors, or reflective array antennas. At the top end of the band slot antennas and parabolic dishes become practical. For satellite communication, helical, and turnstile antennas are used since satellites typically employ circular polarization which is not sensitive to the relative orientation of the transmitting and receiving antennas. For television broadcasting specialized vertical radiators that are mostly modifications of the slot antenna or reflective array antenna are used, the slotted cylinder, zigzag, and panel antennas. Applications UHF television broadcasting fulfilled the demand for additional over-the-air television channels in urban areas. Today, much of the bandwidth has been reallocated to land mobile, trunked radio and mobile telephone use. UHF channels are still used for digital television. 
Since at UHF frequencies transmitting antennas are small enough to install on portable devices, the UHF spectrum is used worldwide for land mobile radio systems, two-way radios used for voice communication for commercial, industrial, public safety, and military purposes. Examples of personal radio services are GMRS, PMR446, and UHF-CB. Some wireless computer networks use UHF frequencies. The widely adopted GSM and UMTS cellular networks use UHF cellular frequencies. Major telecommunications providers have deployed voice and data cellular networks in UHF, VHF range. This allows mobile phones and mobile computing devices to be connected to the public switched telephone network and public internet. UHF radars are said to be effective at tracking stealth fighters, if not stealth bombers. Topic. Examples of UHF frequency allocations Topic. Australia UHF Citizens Band Land Mobile Service, 476 to 477 MHz Television broadcasting uses UHF channels between 503 and 694 MHz Fixed point to point link 450.4875 to 451.5125 MHz. Land mobile service 457.50625 to 459.9875 MHz. Mobile satellite service 406.0000 to 406.1000 MHz. Segment and service examples, land mobile for private, Australian, state and territory government, rail industry and mobile satellite. Canada 430-450 MHz, amateur radio ham 70 cm band 470 to 806 megahertz terrestrial television with select channels in the 700 megahertz band left vacant 1452 to 1492 megahertz digital audio broadcasting L band many other frequency assignments for Canada and Mexico are similar to their US counterparts topic <laughs> United Kingdom 380 to 399.9 MHz terrestrial trunked radio tetra service for emergency use 430 to 440 MHz amateur radio ham 70 cm band 446.0 to 446.2 MHz european unlicensed pmr service equals greater than pmr 446 457 to 464 MHz, scanning telemetry and telecontrol, assigned mostly to the water, gas, and electricity industries. 606 to 614 MHz, radio microphones and radio astronomy. 470 to 862 MHz, previously used for analog TV channels 21 to 69 until 2012. Currently channels 21 to 35, 37 and 39 to 60 are used for Freeview Digital TV. Channel 36 is used for radar. Channel 38 was used for radio astronomy but has been cleared to allow PMSE users access on a license shared basis. 791 to 862 megahertz, IE channels 61 to 69 inclusive were previously used for licensed and shared wireless microphones. Channel 69 only has since been allocated to 4G cellular communications. 863 to 865 megahertz used for license exempt wireless systems. 863 to 870 megahertz short range devices, LPWAN IoT devices such as narrowband IoT. 870 to 960 megahertz cellular communications GSM 900 Vodafone and O2 only including GSMR and future Tetra 1240 to 1325 megahertz amateur radio ham 23 centimeters band 1710 to 1880 megahertz 2G cellular communications GSM 1800 1880 to 1900 MHz, decked cordless telephone 1900 to 1980 MHz, 3G cellular communications, mobile phone uplink 
2110 to 2170 MHz, 3G cellular communications, base station downlink. 2310 to 2450 MHz, amateur radio, ham 13 cm band. Topic United States UHF channels are used for digital television broadcasting on both over-the-air channels and cable television channels. Since 1962, UHF channel tuners at the time, channels 14 to 83, have been required in television receivers by the All Channel Receiver Act. However, because of their more limited range, and because few sets could receive them until older sets were replaced, UHF channels were less desirable to broadcasters than VHF channels and licenses sold for lower prices. A complete list of U.S. television frequency allocations can be found at North American television frequencies. There is a considerable amount of lawful unlicensed activity cordless phones, wireless networking clustered around 900 MHz and 2.4 GHz, regulated under Title 47 CFR Part 15. These ISM bands, frequencies with a higher unlicensed power permitted for use originally by industrial, scientific, medical apparatus, are now some of the most crowded in the spectrum because they are open to everyone. The 2.45 GHz frequency is the standard for use by microwave ovens, adjacent to the frequencies allocated for Bluetooth network devices. The spectrum from 806 MHz to 890 MHz UHF channels 70 to 83 was taken away from TV broadcast services in 1983, primarily for analog mobile telephony. In 2009, as part of the transition from analog to digital over-the-air broadcast of television, the spectrum from 698 MHz to 806 MHz UHF channels 52 to 69 was removed from TV broadcasting, making it available for other uses. Channel 55, for instance, was sold to Qualcomm for their MediaFlow service, which was later sold to AT&T, and discontinued in 2011. Some U.S. broadcasters had been offered incentives to vacate this channel early, permitting its immediate mobile use. The FCC's scheduled auction for this newly available spectrum was completed in March 2008. The FCC has allowed Americans to connect any device and any application to the 22 MHz of radio spectrum that people are calling the 700 MHz band. The FCC did not include a wholesale condition, which would have required the owner of the band to resell bandwidth to third parties who could then service the end user. Google argued that the wholesale requirement would have stimulated Internet competition. As of 2007, 96% of the country's broadband access was controlled by DSL and cable providers. A wholesale condition could have meant a third option for Internet service. 225 to 420 MHz, government use, including meteorology, military aviation, and federal two-way use 420 to 450 MHz, government radio location and amateur radio 70 centimeters band 433 MHz, short-range consumer devices including automotive, alarm systems, home automation, temperature sensors 450 to 470 MHz, UHF business band, general mobile radio service, and family radio service two-way walkie-talkie Talkies, public safety 470 to 512 megahertz low band tv channels 14 to 20 shared with public safety land mobile two-way radio in 12 major metropolitan areas scheduled to relocate to 700 megahertz band by 2023 512 to 608 megahertz medium band tv channels 21 to 36 608 to 614 megahertz channel 37 used for radio astronomy and wireless medical telemetry 614 to 698 megahertz mobile Mobile broadband shared with TV channels 38 to 51 auctioned in April 2017. TV stations will relocate by 2020. 617 to 652 MHz, mobile broadband service downlink 652 to 663 MHz, wireless microphones higher priority and unlicensed devices lower priority 663 to 698 MHz, mobile broadband service uplink 698 to 806 MHz, was auctioned in March 2008. Bidders got full use after the transition to digital TV was completed on June 12, 2009 formerly high band UHFT TV channels 52 to 69, 806 to 816 megahertz, public safety and commercial two-way, formerly TV channels 70 to 72, 817 to 824 megahertz, ESMR band for wideband mobile services, mobile phone. 
formerly public safety and commercial two-way 824 to 849 megahertz cellular A and B franchises terminal mobile phone formerly TV channels 73 to 77 849 to 851 megahertz commercial aviation air ground systems go go 851 to 861 megahertz public safety and commercial two-way formerly TV channels 77 to 80 862 to 869 megahertz ESMR band for wideband mobile Mobile services base station formerly public safety and commercial two-way 869 to 894 megahertz cellular a and b franchises base station formerly tv channels 80 to 83 894 to 896 megahertz commercial aviation air ground systems go go 896 to 901 megahertz commercial two-way radio 901 to 902 megahertz narrowband pcs commercial narrowband mobile services 902 to 900 28 MHz, ISM band, amateur radio 33 cm band, cordless phones and stereo, radio frequency identification, datalinks 928 to 929 MHz, SCADA, alarm monitoring, meter reading systems and other narrowband services for a company internal use 929 to 930 MHz, pages 930 to 931 MHz, narrowband PCS, commercial narrowband mobile services 931 to 932 MHz, Pages 932 to 935 MHz, fixed microwave services, distribution of video, audio, and other data 935 to 940 MHz, commercial two way radio 940 to 941 MHz, narrowband PCS, commercial narrowband mobile services 941 to 960 MHz, mixed studio transmitter, fixed links, SCADA, other. 960 to 1215 MHz aeronautical radio navigation 1240 to 1300 MHz amateur radio 23 cm band 1300 to 1350 MHz long range radar systems 1350 to 1390 MHz military air traffic control and mobile telemetry systems at test ranges 1390 to 1395 MHz proposed wireless medical telemetry service. Terrestar failed to provide service by the required deadline. 1395 to 1400 MHz, wireless medical telemetry service 1400 to 1427 MHz, Earth exploration, radio astronomy, and space research 1427 to 1432 MHz, wireless medical telemetry service 1432 to 1435 MHz, proposed wireless medical telemetry service. Terrestar failed to provide service by the required deadline. 1435 to 1525 MHz, military use mostly for aeronautical mobile telemetry therefore not available for digital audio broadcasting, unlike Canada, Europe, 1525 to 1559 MHz, Skyterra Downlink Legado is seeking FCC permission for terrestrial use 1526 to 1536 MHz, proposed Legado Downlink 1536 to 1550 MHz, proposed guard band 1559 to 1610 MHz, radio navigation satellite services RNSS, upper L band 1563 to 1587 MHz, GPS L1 band 1593 to 1610 MHz, GLONASSG1 band 1559 to 1591 MHz, Galileo E1 band overlapping with GPS L1 1610 to 1660.5 megahertz mobile satellite service 1610 to 1618 global star uplink 1618 to 1626.5 megahertz iridium uplink and downlink 1626.5 to 1660.5 megahertz skyterra uplink legado is seeking fcc permission for terrestrial use 1627.5 to 1637.5 megahertz proposed Legado Uplink 1 1646.5 to 1656.5 MHz, proposed Legado Uplink 2 1660.5 to 1668.4 MHz, radio astronomy observations. Transmitting is not permitted. 1668.4 to 1670 MHz, radio astronomy observations. Weather balloons may utilize the spectrum after an advance notice. 
1670 to 1675 MHz, geostationary operational environmental satellite transmissions to three Earth stations in Wallops Island, VA, Greenbelt, MD and Fairbanks, Alaska. Nationwide broadband service license in this range is held by a subsidiary of Crown Castle International Corp., who is trying to provide service in cooperation with Legado Networks. 1675 to 1695 MHz, Meteorological Federal Users 1695 to 1780 MHz, AWS Mobile Phone Uplink UL, Operating Band 1695 to 1755 MHz, AWS 3 Blocks A1 and B1 1710 to 1755 megahertz AWS1 blocks A B C D E F 1755 to 1780 megahertz AWS3 blocks G H I J various federal agencies transitioning by 2025 1780 to 1850 megahertz exclusive federal use air force satellite communications army's cellular like communication system other agencies 1850 to 1920 megahertz pcs mobile phone order is a d b e f c g h blocks a b c topic 15 megahertz d e f g h 5 megahertz 1920 to 1930 megahertz decked cordless telephone 1930 to 2000 megahertz pcs base stations order is a d b e f c g h blocks a b c Topic 15 MHz, D, E, F, G, H5 MHz 2000 to 2020 MHz, lower AWS 4 downlink mobile broadband 2020 to 2110 MHz, cable antenna relay service, local television transmission service, TV broadcast auxiliary service, Earth exploration satellite service 2110 to 2200 MHz, AWS mobile broadband downlink 2110 to 2155 MHz, AWS 1 blocks A, B, C, D, E, F 2155 to 2180 MHz, AWS 3 blocks G, H, I, J 2180 to 2200 MHz, Upper AWS 4 2200 to 2290 MHz, NASA Satellite Tracking, Telemetry and Control Space to Earth, Space to Space 2290 to 2300 MHz, NASA Deep Space Network 2300 to 2305 MHz, Megahertz amateur radio, 13 centimeters band, lower segment, 2,305 to 2,315 megahertz. WCS mobile broadband service uplink blocks A and B, 2,315 to 2,320 megahertz. WCS block C, AT and T is pursuing smart grid deployment, 2,320 to 2,345 megahertz. Satellite radio, Sirius and XM, 2,345 to 2,350 megahertz. WCS S Block D AT&T is pursuing smart grid deployment 2350 to 2360 MHz WCS Mobile Broadband Service Downlink Blocks A and B 2360 to 2390 MHz Aircraft Landing and Safety Systems 2390 to 2395 MHz Aircraft Landing and Safety Systems Secondary Deployment in a Dozen of Airports Amateur Radio Otherwise 2395 to 2400 MHz Amateur radio, 13 centimeters band, upper segment, 2,400 to 2,483 point five megahertz. ISM IEEE 802.11, 802.11 B, 802.11 grams, 802.11 N wireless LAN. IEEE 802.15.4 minus 2006. Bluetooth radio controlled aircraft, strictly for spread spectrum use. Microwave ovens. Zigbee 2,483. 5 to 2495 MHz, Global Star Downlink and Terrestrial Low Power Service suitable for TDLTE small cells 2495 to 2690 MHz, Educational Broadcast and Broadband Radio Services 2690 to 2700 MHz, Receive Only Range for Radio Astronomy and Space Research 
Topic. See also. Digital audio broadcasting and its regional implementations. Digital terrestrial television. Thing listening device.